Welcome to 10 Minutes With. Uh, this week, it's super exciting. We are um, able to have one of our former students from Andover High School join us, uh, 2016 alumni, um, Brent Sears. Brent is currently at the University of Minnesota, um, Twin Cities campus. He is in the Carlson School of Management. Um, super proud of Brent, just doing amazing things, has a bright, bright future ahead of him. Um, has a job lined up already after graduation at Amazon. Um, he's going to go on and do some some really awesome things, and he gives some great insights for um, current students, um, and just offers some advice and some things that I think um, many students can learn from. So, um, this we did this a little bit differently. Um, I sent him the questions in advance, and then he um, he pre-recorded himself and sent it to me. So. Um, you won't see me in the um, conversation with Brent, but he does a great job. And I'm just, again, I'm proud of him. And uh, thank you so much, Brent, for the time. I hope you enjoy this week's episode and we will see you all soon. Hi, everybody. My name is Brent Sears and I was a 2016 graduate from Andover High School. Currently, I'm a senior at the Carlson School of Management at the University of Minnesota. And in a few days here, I'll be starting my final semester as a college student. So things are getting pretty exciting. Um, upon graduation, I'll be starting with Amazon at their Shakopee Fulfillment Center as an operations manager. And today I'm here to answer a couple questions that have been prepared to hopefully help you guys in your transition to college, uh, where I can give you some tips and tricks to maybe um, help you guys become su more successful college students. So the first question is, in what ways did your high school experience prepare you to begin your college career? For me, I think there are really three things that helped me. Um, the first was organizational skills. In high school, I was able to develop those because I had so much on my plate and I was doing so many things that I really needed to have a schedule and stay, be able to stay organized so that um, I was able to get everything done that I needed to get done and be where I needed to be. Um, the second thing I think is being able to learn how to learn. Uh, for me, I had to do this in high school because of some of the classes I was taking that were more difficult. Um, you know, you have to figure out how to study appropriately and how to how to obtain the information best for you. Um, and I think it kind of goes right into college perfectly. And uh, I think a lot of kids probably aren't able to learn how to learn in high school and then they have to do it once they get to college and it's a bit of a disadvantage. But if you're able to get that out of the way before you get there, it's, it's gonna help you tremendously. And then the third thing is relationship management. And I think there's three aspects to this. The first is the family aspect. And I think it's, it's important for you to be able to distance yourself from your family and become independent, but at the same time, be there for, for them when they need you and be able to rely on them when you need them. Um, you know, your family is really important and they're a great resource for help on things. But at the same time, this is kind of your first step into becoming an adult. And um, if you're able to do things on your own, um, it just helps you kind of to, you know, grow and, and become a more independent person. The second aspect is the social aspect. I think it's important to be able to uh, stay in touch with your high school friends and your childhood friends. Um, but at the same time, I think it's really important for you to go out and meet new people in college, um, especially early on. If you're able to make some good connections and make really good friends, it's going to make your experience a lot more enjoyable. And you'll be able to go through things together and, and spend time together. And it's really fun to have a good group of people around you uh, that you can kind of rely on and, and go through some similar things together. And then the third thing is the academic aspect. I think if you go out and you really reach out to your professors, introduce yourselves, get to know them, it just makes you more comfortable when you need to ask questions about your course or certain material and, um, in the end, it just is going to help you to become more successful in the class. And I think that's really important. So the second question is, what was the hardest thing about transitioning to college? For me, it was the time management. Um, in high school, I had a, things pretty much laid out for me. I knew um, most of my schedule was kind of given to me. But in, in uh, college, I had a lot more free time, especially because I wasn't playing sports anymore. And also, you're not spending as much time in class, but you have a lot more classwork outside of class. So you have to figure out how you're going to get those assignments done, how you're going to study for exams and quizzes, and uh, also, you know, be social and, and uh, be active, things like that. So it's really important for you to kind of 
um, obtain those time management skills. Um, for me, it took a couple months to figure it out, but it wasn't super difficult. Uh, once you get the hang of it, 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 it's pretty easy after that. So the third question is, did you feel prepared for the rigor of college? For me, this is a bit of a yes, no question. I think um, going into college, I was really confident that I was prepared. And for the most part, I was, I was right about that. Um, I, I was able to be successful pretty much from the get go, but there were things that you don't anticipate that you really have to be able to kind of work through and, and, uh, get past, uh, and they're challenging, but, um, there's, you know, with anything, there's going to be ups and downs and, and college is just one of those things where you're going to have to, to uh, work through some issues. But, you know, if you're, if you're confident, if you're prepared, it shouldn't be that big of a deal and, and you should be able to kind of get through it pretty easily. Uh, the fourth question is what skills do you wish you had learned or utilized more in high school? Um, for me, I think there's, there's probably three things I mentioned earlier, the time management skills, I think that is crucial uh, in college, but then there's the study skills. Um, for me, I wasn't the best studier. Um, I kind of, didn't have the motivation early on in college and it, it wasn't ideal, but, um, as I moved on, I kind of became more motivated and, and it was able, I was able to kind of knuckle down, do the work when I needed to, to be able to, you know, obtain that information and, and gather that knowledge that I needed to, to be successful in my classes. And then the last thing I think is the student life balance. This kind of ties in with time management, but I think it's important for you to, to know when you need to work and then when you need or when you can go out and have fun, you know, with your friends, uh, do things that are not school related and whatnot, and just, just have a good time as a college student. And then the fifth question is what advice would you give to students preparing to go into college? Uh, there's a couple things that I'm going to offer here. The first one is soak it all up. It goes by extremely fast. Um, I thought high school went by really fast but college went by twice as fast. Seriously, it's crazy how time flies when you get, once you start to get older. Um, but you know, if you're able to kind of soak it all up and, and live in the moment, it's really gonna, and it's gonna make things a lot more enjoyable. Um, I think, you know, if you're having fun and you're, and you're, um, enjoying your college experience, it's just going to make you more motivated and, and do better in class. Uh, then the second thing is have fun. Uh, kind of goes with the soak it all up um, deal there where, you know, if you're having fun outside of class and, and you have a good set of friends, it's just going to make life more enjoyable and you're going to, you're going to be able to stay motivated and, and do uh, good things inside the class. And then uh, I mentioned this earlier, but make friends early and throughout. Um, I think it's crucial to make friends right away once you get there, but um, at the same time, you're going to be meeting people throughout your entire college career, and <clears throat> those people are going to be there for you, you know, you're, they're going to go through similar things, so if you have a good set of people around you, it's going to make things much more exciting, much more enjoyable. And then the last thing, but it's the most important thing, is just work hard and apply yourself. I think it's crucial for you to go in there and know that you're in college for a reason, you're there to learn, you're there to set yourself up for the future. Um, and you know everything else around that is kind of is uh, is kind of the second second thing in college. You know, having fun is important, but it's definitely more important to go in there and and you know apply yourself, utilize all the resources that are at your disposal, and um, make sure that you're getting everything out of your college experience that you can. So with that, that's pretty much everything I have for you today. Um, I'd like to wish you guys good luck on your, uh, on your tran uh, transition into college and uh, congratulations on finishing up your high school career. So um, thanks for your time and I hope you learned something today.